Splashing is by far my favorite AFK method in the game, only requiring you to click once every 20 minutes. This method is so good because of how cheap and little effort it is. It is always recommended to use fire spells because they have the same rune cost as other spells for great XP. At level 35, you can splash with Fireball, getting you 22.5 XP per cast for a cost of 47 GP. This will net you 27 XP an hour, only costing you 56k an hour for a total of 2 GP per XP. Fire Blast and Wave are also options if you're wealthy and too lazy to enchant bolts or don't want that hit points XP from bursting. Fire Blast will give you 34.5 XP per cast, costing 236k an hour and giving 42k XP per hour. This is a total of 5.7 GP per XP. Fire Wave is pretty similar, just a little more expensive. It'll give you 42.5 XP per cast for a total of 51k XP an hour. This will cost 460k an hour, which is pretty insane for a GP rate of 9 GP per XP. This really doesn't seem worth it to me, but if you're really lazy or rich, then go for it. You can make wine by combining a jug of water with grapes, only requiring 35 cooking and giving a total of 200 XP per. At level 68, you will no longer create a jug of bad wine. You can total 480 XP an hour, making this one of the best and cheapest cooking methods in the game. Cooking is really chill and a fast skill to get out of the way. It can feel pretty good to see the high XP rates as well. Assuming you start wines at level 68 cooking, this will take you 62,147 wines for a total of only 26 hours to get to 99. Another great method is Barbarian Fishing. It is very AFK compared to many other AFK methods or money makers, but I'm, I'm not going to include 3 tick fishing rates because that kind of destroys the whole point of this. But it's going to be about 40% better XP rates. The only downside is that you have to empty your inventory every once in a while and you don't make any GP per hour doing this. Upsides are a chance at a fishing bet, high XP rates, decent AFK, somewhat fun, believe it or not. If you're nerdy enough to get Wild Elite Sun, you can AFK Dark Crabs for an average of 43k XP an hour, 85 to 99. The only problem would obviously be getting 90 smithing, 84 thieving, 90 cooking, 85 mining, and 85 fishing. At level 48, you can expect 20 to 25 XP an hour. At level 58, you can expect 30 to 42k an hour. At level 70, 45 to 55k. Level 80 is 50 to 60k. Level 90 is 50 to 64k. Overall, one of my favorite methods. I know I keep saying every method is my favorite, but this is truly a great method. Cutting rubbers requires 90 wood cutting and 75% Hosidia's favor. This is so great because you can get 60k XP per hour while being able to AFK for 5 minutes at a time. You can bake the logs if you want to be getting 50k an hour, but I don't bother. This is so great because it's so AFK so you can do whatever you want on your alt account. Another good thing is you get a chance at a pet. Obviously I don't do this method anymore because I'm 99 woodcutting, although I could always go for a pet which is a great benefit of cutting redwoods. The pet is 1 out of 73.3k and will take you about 20.3k redwoods to 99. This is kind of a scumbag method, but don't get mad at me, get mad at Jagex. Although I do find Castle Wars to be extremely fun, I don't play because the ping nana is too bad, the EU kids are way too sweaty with too good a ping. It doesn't impact your team too much to do this, considering so many others are doing it on both sides, so it kind of evens itself out. Assuming each game is about 20 methods, you can earn about 1-3 to three tickets per game, 1 if you lose, 2 if you win, or tie, and 3 if your team scores without losing any flags. You really wouldn't want to do this on your main. It is best on pure accounts for the decorative mage and range armor because it's really cool and provides great defensive stats. The halos here are much cooler than LMS but cost a whopping 75 points each. That's about 12.5 hours per halo. So how can Jagex really blame you for AFK in this? May as well abuse it while you can. Jagex even lets you AFK for 10 minutes in here, so I don't really know what they expect. This is a great AFK method, but I'd only recommend doing it if you have an alt as it can get boring. The requirements are going to be at least 80 range and 77 slayer, preferably a dragon hunter crossbow, but blowpipe is totally fine. You can expect 1 mil an hour with blowpipe after expensive, 1.45 mil an hour with a dragon hunter crossbow after expensive, and 1.7 mil twisted bow, but I have no idea why you'd be watching this with a twisted bow. It's really good gold in my opinion for how AFK it is. You'll get dark totems and a chance at Scotizo pet. 
Overall, I'd consider this the best AFK moneymaker in the game, and the only negatives are that you would need an alt preferably, as you might get bored, and it can get busy during peak times.